What's up, the Cinema Show Gun here. And now that Quentin Simon has been found, and now that Leilani Simon is behind bars, you would think that the story would be slowing down. Yet I have more updates from the Quentin Simon case for you all today. Now, we all know Leilani Simon is in jail, but now she has been placed on watch. What kind of watch, you ask? Well, I think you may already know what type of watch I'm talking about, but just in case you don't, we will get into that in just a moment, and I will give you all my thoughts on it. But first, a quick word from this video's sponsor. Now, I could do an ad read, but I just want to speak from the heart in this video. This video sponsor is a new app called Swagit. Swagit is an app where you could share videos of whatever interests you. Maybe it's true crime, maybe it's kittens, maybe you like showing people the apple pies you make on Sunday for your grandma. Regardless of what it is, you could share your interest on the Swagit app. Now listen, Everyone always asks, how can they support my channel? This is a totally free way for you to support the channel. All you got to do is download the Swagit app using the link in the description of this video or in the pinned comment of this video. You create an account and then you follow me, Cinema Shogun. And if you do that, you're not only are you supporting the channel, but you're automatically entered into a $100 giveaway. And I'm also going to be doing more giveaways in the future. But I, I don't want you all to just download this app just to enter the giveaway. I mean, of course you can if you want to. It's totally free. And if that's what you want to do, fine. But I'm interested in creating and creating a a community over there where me and my subscribers, we can interact more intimately. I want to get to know you all, is basically what I'm saying. I know that all 72,000 of my subs aren't going to come to the Swag It app, but I know a lot of my biggest supporters will. And, you know, if you're posting videos on the app, not only does that help you make money for free, because you can make money just from posting videos we could give each other swag bucks and we could use it for gift cards. We could cash it out for PayPal cash. But I'm interested in seeing some of your hobbies. I, there is people from all walks of life watching this video right now. People who make music. You create artwork. You do 3D printing. You have beautiful pets. I mean, I'm interested in seeing your hobbies and your interests. So you could share it there. And that's a place where you could share your interests. And you could know that me that I am watching and I'm going to be right there liking and talking to you all on those posts and what have you. So if you get time, hit the link in the description of this video or in the pinned comment and join the Swagit app today. Like I said, it, it, it's a free way to support my channel and you get entered into free giveaways. So it's a win-win situation. And even if you don't want to create videos and content over there, I understand, but it's still another app where where you're going to get free content from me and possibly other creators that you may know from YouTube. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive right into this because Leilani Simon has been placed on watch. And the watch I'm talking about, it begins with an S and it ends with an E. It's crazy to me that we can't talk about this type of stuff on YouTube. I can show up and live stream myself yelling outside of someone's front door, but I can't tell you all that this is not the answer. We can't get into an in-depth conversation about this and how this is never the answer and how there are alternatives and how, you know, there's different pathways to take. There's people you could talk to. It, it's become so stigmatized, if that's the word. It, we've, we've, pushed ourselves into a corner as a society where we can't even talk about the things that are important to talk about. And that's why I'm so big on free speech, even the speech that we don't like, because when you censor speech you don't like, you are at the same time placing yourself in a box and you're limiting yourself. So I hate that I can't talk to you all about this and I can't say this word on YouTube. But Leilani Simon has been placed on this watch. And from what I'm hearing, Billy Joe is the one that has told 
local news outlets about this, Billy Joe claims that she's been talking to other inmates inside the Chatham County Jail, and they're the ones that told her that Leilani has been placed on this watch. Now, that sticks out to me, and it's kind of odd. Because the other day, we got news that Leilani Simon was in protective custody. Now, I know often when people commit crimes like the crime Leilani is accused of, when you do things to children, sometimes they put you in PC, protective custody, because behind bars, um, how can, even, um, even thieves and criminals have a code that they somewhat live by. And when you go behind bars and word gets out that you do things to children or you did something bad to a kid, <laughs> it's not going to be easy for you, okay? Those people will literally end you. So it, it wasn't a big surprise to me that she was in protective custody, but I was wondering, was she placed there from the beginning? Or was she in general pop and an altercation happened and then they decided to place her in protective custody. Now, Billy Joe claims she's getting this information from other inmates. If Leilani was placed into protective custody as soon as she got into the jail, the other inmates wouldn't have this information to give to Billy Joe. So either Billy Joe is lying or at some point during Leilani's short incarceration, you know, at some point she was not in protective custody, and then was um, moved to protective custody because of some type of altercation or maybe because she was threatening to off herself. Oh, man, <laughs> this, this video is so difficult to make because there's so many words I can't say, and I'm trying to figure out where I can go with this conversation without saying certain words. But the one thing that sticks out to me is this. And of course, you know, I'm about to go on a rant. So Leilani is on watch now. But she wasn't on watch when she was in the free world. She's on watch now, yet on the free world, you are out partying, knocking back drinks and slurping on oysters at the oyster bar at the beach. While law enforcement was digging through garbage looking for your son. But now you're on watch. Now you can't live with yourself. Now you can't live with the consequences of your actions. Leilani was just fine when she was at Billy Joe's house. In front of Billy Joe's house. Fighting back against the protesters. Leilani was just fine when she was riding around with her friend. But now that she's in jail, now she's on watch. And I don't know. I find it funny, not in in the ha 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 funny way, but I find it funny and like, okay, that's weird. Because where was this remorse? Where was this guilt before you got caught? Before you got locked up? Where was this guilt then? Then you were partying, you were having a, a blast. It was a family reunion at your house every day. Hey, everyone, come over and let's party in the backyard. We got the disco ball going. And now it's, oh, now you have to be placed on watch because you're a coward and you don't want to face the consequences. You rather end yourself than to admit to what you did or to be found guilty of what you did. And that is such a coward. Leilani as Quentin's mom, even if she did this horrible thing and took Quentin's life or she's responsible for Quentin losing his life, she could do one last thing as a mother. It won't redeem her. It won't fix what she did. But if she wants to really be a mother, she could make one decision. And that is to tell the truth about what happened. So we don't have to go through all of this nonsense. And so we can end it here. But that's not what Leilani is going to do. Leilani is going to fight to make sure that Quentin, her own son, doesn't get justice. And she's selfish enough that instead of the world knowing what happened to her son, Quentin, she will take her own life. So the world never knows. 
So you could always be, there will always be that what if. And I think in most of our minds, we know, we don't know exactly what happened, but we know who's responsible for it. But if you're not found guilty and you take yourself out of the game before you you suffer the real consequences of your actions, it, it, it leaves that empty space. And it makes me feel as if proper justice isn't served. So my thing is, if you have reached this point in life where you're just done and you're ready to end it all, if you've reached that point, then just go ahead and say what happened. If you have enough courage and you feel like you're at the end of your rope, where the answer is to end everything, then why not just say what happened to Quentin? You have nothing else to lose, right? In my mind, if you make the decision to turn off your own lights, then in your mind, you have nothing else to lose. So why not say what happened to Quentin? And to take it one step further, we have to remember that she is pleading not guilty. And this is most likely going to go to trial. So it, if you're being placed on watch, I don't think that looks good for you. It makes you look more guilty, if anything, in my eyes. It makes you look more guilty if you're being placed on watch for a crime that you claim to not have committed. And another thing that I find really weird, which I haven't touched on, you all remember the interviews with Leilani. You all know the narrative and the story that was put out there, that Leilani doesn't remember what happened that morning. She doesn't know what happened. And she even said on the news, if something happens and it turns out that I did this, I will turn myself in. But now she's saying she's not guilty and she's ready to take this to trial. She's ready to fight these charges. But how can you fight these charges and how can you claim you're not guilty if you don't remember? You get what I'm saying? So it seems like Leilani has gone from not remembering what happened. I don't know. Maybe I killed Quentin. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. Um, If they find something that says I did kill Quentin, then I guess I did. I'll turn myself in. That's what she said. So how all of a sudden your memory is back. You're like, oh, God. I know my memory was cloudy for a second, but suddenly I remember I didn't do it. I did not kill Quentin. That's what I remember now. Nah, <laughs> you already claim to have amnesia. You already put the narrative out there that you had no idea what happened that morning. And I would assume that means you were drugged out of your mind. But now, oh no, I'm not guilty. We got to fight these charges. We got to take this to trial. I didn't do this. You're singing a totally different tune than you were singing a few weeks ago. And a lot of people might not notice that, but I noticed that and I have picked up on it. And you hear my dogs barking in the background because they notice it as well. They pick up on bullshit really quickly, just like me. But overall, the situation, it, it continues to play out in a dramatic fashion. Of course, she wasn't going to go to jail quietly and we hear nothing. This is like the third story we've gotten this week ever since she's been locked up. Now you're on watch. Now you're in protective custody. Now you're doing this. Now you're doing that. Like, just face the music. Like you said you would. You said you didn't remember what happened. Maybe I killed my son and I forgot. And if FBI finds that out, I'll turn myself in. Well, guess what? They found it out and now your ass is in jail. So deal with it. But let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. And I will talk to you all in the next video.